www.wilsonwrites.com. Please welcome Kelly Wilson. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you for figuring this out. Very nice. Okay, before I really get started, I have a confession to make, and that is that I am a mom. <laughs> That's not a confession. And I am in it for the gifts. <laughs> Mother's Day is in two days. I mean, isn't that why we're all parents? <laughs> gifts. They take advantage of the gifts. They even give you gifts for being a parent at church, which is nice. A couple of years ago, on Father's Day actually, we went to a new church. And as we were leaving, somebody handed my husband a giant bar of chocolate. I was like, yes, best church ever. <laughs> and I started getting really excited for Mother's Day. It was like a year away. So I'm excited all year. I'm like, yeah, Mother's Day, they're going to have us something great. Woo! -hoo. Sit through the service. We come out, and they handed me a plant. <laughs> That's not chocolate. <laughs> I was like sincerely confused. I said, I can't eat this. I spend my life cleaning up messes and wiping butts and feeding people and you gave me something that I have to take care of. <laughs> and I can kill. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure. <laughs> have you seen my children? How long do you think this plant is going to last in my house? <laughs> I can barely take care of them. <laughs> And I was like, you have just sentenced this plant to die, and stormed away. <laughs> they don't look at me in the eye anymore. <laughs> so aside from the plants, there's a whole list of other things that I thought that I might want for Mother's Day, because it's about the gifts. So the first thing I thought of was a boob job. <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> and it's a job that's more about relocation. <laughs> More than anything, I don't want them bigger, I don't want them smaller, I just want them back where they originally were. <laughs> so, we were discussing it, I was discussing it, and um, it's, it's just expensive, and there are no relocation stations anywhere. <laughs> Fred Meyer, here's your idea, you're welcome. <laughs> So I thought, well, maybe there's a way that I can figure out how to do it myself. <laughs> so, so when you, well, when I, open the bathroom, um, the shower curtain from our bathtub, you can look right into this giant mirror. Thank you, bathroom designers. <laughs> and, you know, out of the shower. So this is the process that I went through. I'm looking in the mirror. And I'm trying to figure out how I can get them where, okay. It's going to take a little bit more. Okay, good. Okay. Both of me a secret. Maybe someday relocate. <laughs> so instead I thought, how about a tattoo? <laughs> I could get like a cluster of grapes somewhere on my body, and as I age, they will turn into raisins. <laughs> Very natural, doesn't look all distorted, that would be good. Um, since I'm not getting a boob job, I can get like a grape here and a grape here. And then as I age, they can be eggplants. <laughs> <laughs> as I age, people will say, nice eggplants. <laughs> and I'll be like, thank you. 
And they'll be like, whoa, you are so tough. That's a lot of eek. <laughs> but getting a tattoo is a little anticlimactic because everyone has one. Like when I was growing up, it was the babies getting pierced ears and wearing earrings. I think now babies are going to start getting tattoos. <laughs> That's how common it is. So I'm thinking, I don't have to get a tattoo. I can just do nothing because I don't currently have one. I can get into my swimsuit and head to the indoor pool because that's where all the tattoos hang out. <laughs> I'm serious, go there. <laughs> the indoor pool, 80% of people have tattoos, more than one. And I can be like, I'm the new rebel. <laughs> that's right. Not getting a tattoo is the new getting a tattoo. <laughs> I'm so tough. What are you looking at? Yeah, my skin is clear. <laughs> you wish you were me. You wish you were as tough as I am. <laughs> and I might do that because the pool is open on Sunday. So. <laughs> I haven't decided. My husband is threatening me with a gift. He said, I'm going to get you those decals that go on the back window of the car. And I was like, don't jinx me. That's me. He got a set of his own. He got the man and the woman, the two kids, which we have, the dog and the cat. Stuck them on the window. A couple days later, the cat died. Oh. I was like, dude, <laughs> get those things off. <laughs> I'm a little paranoid. <laughs> so I'm living like in desperate fear for like a year. I'm like, dude, scrape those things off the back of your car, because it's just a matter of time. <laughs> And he's like, oh, but they're so cute. I just don't have the heart. You don't need a heart. You need a spatula. <laughs> you need a butter knife. You need a fingernail. <laughs> Scrape them off. <laughs> so, no jinx. Don't. Don't mess with it. Um, instead of a plant, I had a good idea for the church to hand out on Sunday morning as I'm leaving. Maybe a giant slab of bacon. Uh, or a little piglet. Because oh. you can grow bacon. <laughs> I would not mind taking care of that. Because every time I looked at it, I would think, meat candy. <laughs> that would be its name, meat candy. Oh, come here, meat candy. Oh, you're looking skinny. Come eat some fat and oh. <laughs> I love bacon, I can't help it. I love it so much that I wrote a song. And I am neither a musician nor a singer, so fortunately for you, you have to listen to it. <laughs> it's a fairly new song. It's, imagine a rock ballad, I'm thinking, late 80s, big hair, boom, boom, boom. So, and it's, remember, it's a ballad. Okay. <clears throat> what would we do without bacon? <laughs> you can add it to every meal. <laughs> Steak, shrimp, and pancakes go naked. Without bacon to add some appeal. <laughs> bacon. <laughs> You're the best. Oh, well, I'm not done. I got lots more. <laughs> How could we live without bacon? What would we do with our lives? We would be sad and lonely, but we'd have thinner thighs. Bacon, my reason to live. My love I give. Now we're going to the bridge. It's building. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You're so handy. Background. <laughs> Crispy, sizzling, crunchy. My meat candy. <laughs> meat candy. That's right. <laughs> there is no food. Like 
that bacon. It's like candy, except it's not sweet. <laughs> Microwave, broiled, or fried. It's meat that you add to your meat. <laughs> bacon. This is the end, I promise. You're so true. It's coming down. Bacon. I love